Why gaming isn't fun anymore by Zenkai Boost. Let's lock in, get stuck in, and see what he got, man. Diablo 4? Diablo 4 taking shots? What? Ooh! I would go home uh, when I was ready to collapse, basically. Oh my god! Oh shit, we shooting shots already, man. We got Starfield, Redfall, Diablo 4. Diablo 4 taking shots? What? Horizon Forbidden West. No, I haven't played Horizon in general yet. Tears of the Kingdom. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Oh, I see, I see. So Tears of the Kingdom is like, is it the peak? Let's keep it pushing, man. I I'm doing too much yapping right now. Video games are more popular than ever before. They're more immersive, they're more beautiful, more respected, and they print more money than the music and movie industry combined. Yeah, that's pretty true. Is that hey, man. Something strange is happening. It's crazy when you think how people used to shit on gaming back in the day. And one of these people is really surprised me. Oh, I thought he was going to say, it's me. You see, I love everything about video games. <laughs> Seriously. I yeah, hold on, let's go back. Hold on. Let's talk about hey you Pikachu, my nigga. I had this game with the headpiece as well. I had the goddamn headpiece. That felt like the future, man. Hey Pikachu, get the fruit. Hey Pikachu, fish. Yo, nigga, I was deep into that game, man. That felt like the damn Wii before the Wii, I'm telling you, man. And that was on the N64. Imagine that. I was a Pokemon fanatic back in the- Oh my god, my nigga got NBA Jam on the Genesis? So I played NBA Jam on an actual arcade, like, system. Yo, that was a flashback just now. Yo, well a throwback. I, I'm obsessed and have always been since I was a little kid. The industry- Welcome to E3 2019. E3! Okay, yeah. fair enough. The business, I love it all. I miss E3, man. But these days? It feels like every game is some combination of like soulless, overly optimized, or it just feels like a chore to play. play Word. To earn battle token tier skips. Damn game, game passes and shit. Seasons. In fact, I think I watch more videos about video games than actually play video games. Word. Word, bro. Now listen, now there, there, there's many other factors as well, like adulting, not having as much time to game as when I was a kid. But even still, when I do have the time, there aren't any new titles that I'm like, I can't wait to play. I'm at a weird position in life. And some of you may be in this point as well, where I feel like I've already lived through the best of the best in gaming. Like, it wouldn't be hard for me to just stop gaming for the rest of my life and enjoy playing the classics I never got around to. Like, I feel like the best games ahead of me are the classics I haven't played yet. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it feels like... There is nothing beyond anymore. So I get what he's saying. Like nowadays, I'm just here on YouTube, like what I'm doing right now, watching Zenkai Boost talk about gaming, man. Shit. So why did I and a growing number of people feel like video games aren't fun anymore? Mm -hmm. What changed? Was it the games? That's a serious question, man. Was it me? So there's another kind of principle here where remember that the video game doesn't just give you pleasure. It also takes away pain from other parts of your life. Or was it both? Yeah, boy, there's a lot of factors, One man. One of my favorite gaming memories was playing the original Pokemon with my little brother. I had the Ooh. Berry Game Boy, aka the best Mine was purple and see-through. Red, aka the best Pokemon boy. Okay, now easy there, Zenkai. Easy there. If we talk in the best Pokemon, you just gonna have to back off for a second. Cause if we talk in the best, it gotta be Sapphire, man. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. Come on, speak to me, Sapphire, the soundtrack, and Sapphire with the trumpets? Bam, 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 bam. Listen, man, don't even at me. And then they introduced the link cable, which was revolutionary in terms of, like, multiplayer? Nigga, the damn four-way link cable? Come on, man. Sapphire was crazy, and I think it was the first... Yeah, it was the first Pokemon to have, like, full color, because you had Crystal... You had crystal gold and silver, which all kind of like stayed in their lane. And then obviously the red, blue, green, yellow. Was yellow colored? I, it's hard to remember, but I do like vividly recall Sapphire and Ruby just having like the full range of color. And I was blown away, man. That, in my opinion, that was my favorite one. So I think we knew who the cool kid was at school. <laughs> it was me. It was him. Aside, we freaking love these games. Like, 
We loved them so much, we actually played them under our beds when we were supposed to be sleeping with like a tiny little yes. flashlight at the bottom of our beds so that no one could see that we were awake. And then we would just play them all night until we passed out. Damn, man. <sighs> Nostalgia. The good old days. Or not, the games back then had the same goal of the games today. See, they wanted to make money. We want a gift. <laughs> but only if it's money. <laughs> I mean, it was business after all. And, uh, you know, I think Pokemon did A-OK -okay on that front. Wow. That's gonna drive parents nuts. Is it ever? I think they're doing just fine. But in those days, there was only one way to get money. It had to be fun. And I mean really fun. Like, hey. addictive. Talk to me. From a design standpoint, going to that first level and it's like looking way up to the top of the level. I'm thinking, like, I'm gonna get all the way up there. Multiplayer, multiplayer. Oh, original Halo? Talk to me. Mmm, that was definitely <laughs> Ruby or Sapphire. Damn. I didn't even hear what he was saying, man. I was focusing on the games. Satisfied with the fun, you had like a billion cheat codes you could access. Yeah. The games as <laughs> Yo, the codes, GTA. Nah, the GTA codes specifically. There was codes, but I, I remember like having code access before and the little secrets you'd unlock in different adventure games and fighting games. But GTA, I remember that shit specifically, man. You grab that controller, up, up, down, down, left, left, L1, R1, X1, beep. You hear the little, uh, the, the, the notification sound? Max stars, bitch, let's go. Codes, man. You wanted. Anybody remember Cheat CC back in the day? Man, you just go on that. Cheat CC? I've never heard of this. So what I used to use was Code Breaker and Game Shark, man. Yo, Game Shark was my shit. Site, find all the craziest cheats. Play those games. Yeah, play those there games it is. You wanted to play because the cheats just sounded rad. You could literally make the games mumbo jump. Is that mumbo jumbo? You wanted. Isn't that insane that that's just gone now? It's because gone. If the game wasn't fun on day one. Like uh, that was it. It was over. There was no sale. Yeah. This simple limitation led to an explosion of competition from developers to one-up each other. The key isn't the number of games, the key is the quality of the game. Word. The developers wanted their business Yo, to the well. SPs. Well, guess what? It had to outfund the competition. It was an all-out war, but no matter what happened, mm, us players, mm, 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 we were eating good. <laughs> then technology hits a major pivot point. Game. Ever wonder what the bottom of an avatar shoe looks like? Well, bam! There oh, shit. Are we about to talk about Connect PS Move and the Wii? Let's go. I guess that's technically a pivot, but no, that's not what I'm talking about. This is. This is. <laughs> this is boring. Delete. Yeah. You see, at this time, yeah, we're, and now just think about it, yeah. Than ever. Every map ever released on Halo One through Four, all running on their original engines. Isn't that wild to look at? That's complex. Look, simple, complex. I see, I see, I see. Complex. <laughs> Definitely complex. <laughs> we just finished level three and need to tighten up the graphics a little bit. Great. Developer head count starts entering into the thousands. Murderer. Right. Thousands. There are some companies with ten thousand. There are. Bro, and this. Oh, oh, and this is where the indies are shining. Where Nintendo is shot. Well, dare I say Nintendo? Let's just say the indies for now, because like, yo, I think personally. It's just the era, man. It's just the era. Like yesterday, this is off topic, but I don't give a shit, man, because I had a great time. I came across a Kickstarter game being funded by Shoji Maguro. And if you don't know who Shoji is, it's one of my favorite composers of all time. He did a lot of soundtracks for the Shin Megami Tensei series. I love the series, man. If you don't know that series, you might know Persona. Persona is a, a side story of that series, but he made a lot of soundtracks, whether it was like DDS and DS and SM1. It was SM1 through four. Actually, no, I don't think he did four. I maybe dabbled in five, 
but he was he was doing like a live stream showing the composing process of how he makes music and all of this to say it's like back then i feel like everyone involved in gaming actually enjoyed like they actually were skilled in the craft of art composition they had a soul they like they, they cared about that shit they treated it like their damn child like yo crazy stories man and nowadays you got people just writing the bare minimum the music the soundtracks are bare minimum it's just some generic you know what i'm saying like no no melody no like no depth that goes into your ears straight to the soul and 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 you just like memorize it what where am i going with this what i'm trying to say is i think nowadays those people involved in gaming they aren't as passionate i don't know how you take one person's creative vision and then sprinkle that amongst thousands of people to create one game word it's already complex seems like a rough uphill battle doesn't it i worked about seven days a week seven days. and when would you go home i would go home uh when i was ready to collapse basically oh my I god rise substantially and yeah Things are starting to look bleak. They put products into specific kind of timelines and they're under a lot of pressure to hit those timelines. Except by 2013, developers start to realize a way out. Is it remakes? Updates. Updates. Tiny fixes to keep players happy with their purchase. Release it broken and then send the, the fixes. DLC. Now, new additional content is sold the same day the game releases. Yep. Day one DLC. Day <laughs> the poison of gaming. The poison of gaming. Yo, I remember the first time I saw a DLC. I was like, what the fuck is this? They're able to add something to a game I already purchased? Like, how is that even possible? I remember being so perplexed about it. But granted, the DLC was very basic. It was like an additional skin or a soundtrack. And then I downloaded it. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. I how? How are they doing this? But as the years went by, it's like, wait a minute now, the DLC is starting to become the, the damn lifeblood of the game rather than the game itself. Feels kind of like a scam, a little bit. Then day one patches. Yep, day one patch, which is expected these days, which is crazy. I guess uh, they couldn't finish the game on time. Damn. Probably a problem. Then really big day one patches. disc becomes useless without the internet updates grow bigger and bigger and become more common gotta say it starting to feel like there's a problem emerging <laughs> i like so this guy this way i could ah oh, and of course the game froze no yeah, what was once a competition for fun turns into a competition of marketing Play the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. Damn, yeah. Repackaged older games. New and good. Yearly update. Remake. Worst. Damn. Nobody likes marketing. Yeah. Not even marketing. All right. I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> it turns into a marketing blitz of empty promises. Yeah. The game could eventually become cyberpunk. The fact that it's cyberpunk is crazy, too, because we all know. What? It never does. Eee! And, uh, quick aside, what is going on with the 20 billion trailers that are all synced to the sound of the music when they reload the guns and stuff? <laughs> <shoot> the <weapon>? Yep. <laughs> stop. I hate those trailers so much. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> you know which trailers really give me the ick man any trailer that have like vocals to it i don't know why i'm like that man like if it's if it's like a, a modern is like a, a a pop song or a popular song i'm just like an exact and i know you all can envision what i'm talking about it gets to a scene where just like it does the do 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 and then it shows the whole team running to the screen in slow-mo and you got some cheesy li lyrics like I'ma go to the top. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Oh, I hate those fucking trailers so much. Play some substantial music, man. Let me feel it. God. It's annoying. It's not fun. Who think about this uh, marketing team? Who's out there going, what game should I get? Really need a game right now. I really <laughs> wish I could play one. I really wish. Oh my God. There was a trailer out there that just synced all the gunshots to some pop song. 
Yes. Oh, I thought they were gonna do it. I'd buy it. Then I'd buy it. Then I'd buy it. Fun no longer <laughs> makes the bulk of the money. The landscape shifts to retention-based gameplay. The question was no longer, how can I make this more fun? How can you keep them coming back? How can we get every second and every cent of this person's money and time to play our game forever? That's crazy. From this point on, games change completely. I really, really, really love CSGO. It's my all-time favorite game. It'll always be my all-time favorite game. It will! Yeah! New aggressive... Mildly awkward, but we're going to keep the show moving, man. We're going to keep the show moving. Monetization, <clears throat> manipulation tactics become the de facto standard. Like, this is literally how every game looks these days. Transaction become an industry trend. If you ever wondered, dear God, could I pay just a dollar to get this rainbow colored gun skin? Then I'd be fulfilled. Yo, you know what genuinely breaks my heart? Oh, that, that was kind of wavy though the, the way this just like dropped down it, it, it almost it's almost like this lock felt what i was about to say i tune into a lot of streamers i watch a lot like it, there are there's a lot of in, interest entertaining streams out there and it's so unfortunate that these days and and keep in mind like i'm from a different dimension of gaming man i'm from a different dimension where like games were simple but they were full of something right like that like there was a lot of charm and and like depth but nowadays, when you say gaming, the only things that they're registering is Fortnite, Valorant, Overwatch, um, 2K, Warzone, um, Apex, what else? Um, there's a few more. FIFA. Yeah, those are like the only kind of games that, you re that, that people register. And then if you say something like um, anybody playing, I, I, I'm just thinking out loud here. Splatoon 3, that's something I play a lot because I, I find it fun. Nobody playing that corny game. Trash, garbage, this and that. Mickey game. And then you just look at the chats and everyone just agreeing that any game that has like some remote depth to it, to where you actually have to use your brain and think, trash game. Something like Sea of Stars would pop up. No one's, uh, no one's interested in like a Sea of Stars, but... Everybody wants to be on Fortnite. Everybody wants to be on any like competitive shooter, Call of Duty. And it's like, bro, that's unfortunate, man. It's like, you know how I feel about it. This is how I feel about gaming. And I feel like if anyone else is in my same dimension, you'll understand. So I used the game when it wasn't cool, right? And where you'd get picked on just because you played games. And then it eventually gets popular and popular and popular. And now those same people that would make fun of me for gaming are now gaming. But now there's so much of those people gaming that they're making the games that I like non-existent because they're interested in the trash games. That's what I, that's my problem. That's my problem. There's, there's a shit ton of people that aren't like real gamers that are now gamers and those of us in that dying age of like adventure 3d platformer 2d platformer rpg jrpg um um uh, uh uh puzzle whatever you call it that is like taking the back seat to all of these soulless games and that's what i hate man i genuinely hate that i genuinely hate that man well guess <clears throat> what you got it Lottery esque boxes can yeah, be purchased for chance at digital items with fabricated rarity. Oh, it's an icon as well! Which is insane. This is rarer than this, but they can both be made infinitely. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs> just make it make, make sense. it make sense, please. Oh, no. You just blowing from stupid town. And then battle passes are introduced as content treadmills yep. used to keep the players engaged the game is shallow and unfun but hold on we can just make a battle pass and give them things like coins <laughs> the music <laughs> and we'll give them enough coins to do it again next year <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, he's making a good point, man. People don't play games because they're fun no more. They're playing it to reach the milestone. They're trying to get that skin, that, that animation, the highlight intro, the weapon, the gun. They're trying to, to get that clip, the, the, the TikTok, the short. No one's playing them to have fun no more. Dead ass. There's a very small few people I, I've found that still play games just to have some damn fun, man. And if you're one of those people, wave, man. Give me like a wave emote in the damn comment section because I'm starting to feel like I'm alone in this world, man. We're geniuses. Forget fun or quality. The game was going to continuously engage the players at all costs. More engagement means more spending. Mm. <clears throat> and if you're that guy, we'd all like to say thanks for spending billions of dollars of your money on Fortnite skins and turning video games into the hellish landscape that it is today. <laughs> thanks. Thanks a lot, man. We'd all like to thank you and find out who you are. Oh, wait, we know. <clears throat> <coughs> streamers bruh <Need> content <laughs> streamers <coughs> content <coughs> don't matter the trend that we change damn damn it's true though it's to the point where i, I and 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 and, and it, it kind of goes back to the example i literally just explained before like a few seconds ago it's to the point where if i were to be a big streamer I would do my best. You know who I, I, who does this actually? Maximilian Dude, one of my favorite content creators. I've been following this guy's content for years, man, years and years. Bro be playing the classics. He be playing anything that isn't mainstream, and he does his best to like show people what else is out there. But again, nobody wants to watch that, right? Everybody wants to watch the shit that gets the clip and all that stuff. So that that's that's it, man. That's 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 yeah. He makes a good point here. I can't lie to you, man. He makes a very good point. And it worked. So how do they make money? A lot of games right now are free to download, but then if you want to get extra packs or access extra content, you have to pay for what they call in-app purchases or in-game purchases. Which is insanely sad, but it worked. So they get you hooked free, uh -huh. and then they start charging you once you're in there and once you want to do better and advance within the game. Damn. Basically. Everything changed. So this is why my son is asking me for my credit card <laughs> when he's playing one of these games because he wants those kinds of things. The world changed. This is a one billion dollar super yacht. Games changed. Yo, games, music, art, shows. To be fair, I guess we did too. Bro. So, is this the end? But before he gives me some hope, because I, I feel like he's going to give us some hope right after this. But yo, as he was going through that, like, I, I just realized myself just you remember, remember earlier when I said I feel like there's nothing left to look forward to in terms of games. Like, I feel that with TV shows and movies, too, bro. It's a weird feeling where it's like you truly feel like you're past the era where like the art form of everything was at its peak. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand the appeal, for instance, modern hip hop, modern rap. I understand the appeal. I know, like, why people like it. They like the catchy shit. But at the same time, it's like, holy shit, you listen to some albums from early 2000s, damn, sometimes the 90s, mid 2000s kind of thing. And then you hear what people are playing today. And it's mind blowing, man. There's some dudes, a new song would come out. They literally don't know what bro is rapping about. And they're saying, bro, and, and um, I've seen so many reactions do this. They say they literally say they don't know what he's saying, but it's fire. Bruh, what is the era we live in right now? Oh, no, maybe there's no positive. You know, maybe I did change. Maybe the world changed. Maybe video games aren't actually fun anymore. Maybe I think they are. will get better. I get older, but movies are still awesome, right? I don't know. But maybe the real problem is I was just shining light on the wrong things. Okay, talk to me. If you'd like to see me go into the future and fix video games forever, <laughs> then I'm telling you, you need to watch this insane video that I made. Wait. <laughs> hey, we watched in that video.
We watching this video, by the way, with a thumbnail like that. I gotta know what his plan is. We gotta figure out the plan because we need a solution, man. It's not looking good. I thought his answer was going to be what I was saying. Go back in time and just keep playing the classics because that, that's where you can find the joy and the, and, the, and the substance now. But all in all, man, this was a great video. I like Zenkai Boost's content. Looking forward to I think I might actually react to this one right after this, to be honest, just to while I'm still in the mood. But made some very good points man like we we live in an interesting time where there, there's not a, a lot of soul in games man and, and it's like you play the small few like black myth i haven't played it yet but that that's something that seems like it has some soul to it like stella blade stellar blade sorry and then there was space marine that came out as well i heard good things about that so it's good to see that there are still some efforts being made for some good modern action but like for the bulk of what the majority finds popular and enjoyable it's unfortunate man like everybody's about the competitives the battle royales man man i just went man i don't even know what to say man the, the good thing though is there are a lot of games i haven't had the chance to play from uh the current era as far back as n64 kind of thing so I'm the kind of person, I'm very, like, it's very doable to play classics. I can play shit as far back as the SNES and still see the beauty in it. So I have a perfect retirement plan. There's a lot of shit I need to play. But in terms of, like, the future, I don't really look forward for games anymore, to be honest. But there might be a small few that I do have my eyes on. But all in all, you got some points, man. It's not as fun as it used to be. But hopefully with the next video we get ourselves a solution to see what we can do to bring it back man god damn bring back the soul but anyway i'm out here man y'all have a good night good day whatever peace out bye